Back with a few of the projects that I showed you or I showed you some of the supplies that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree and Michaels and I was working on them this week so I thought I would show you some of the finished products. Now these are the metal ones, these are the metal uh, picture frames, well they're not really frames, I mean they're just, they're, they're metal and I, I showed you this one before. Um, this is the one with the little dog on it and the little saying on the back and again just to refresh they do have the stand on the back and you can actually there's a little twist turn here you could hang them on the wall if you wanted to so I did finish this one and I did end up putting flowers on it so whoa it seems to be stuck yeah it's stuck to the thing okay so this is what we've got here and it's just simple, but I think that it's going to be something that people will really like. I think what I'm also going to do is get a couple of decorative magnets and uh, put them along with this so that when people get them, they can actually put things on them and they don't, they can not just use the clip. And this one I thought would be great. I bought, I did two similar to this. This is the top, this is the bottom, and this is graphic 45. Um, and what I did this one for was for recipes. I think that will just be really cool to have in your kitchen and put your recipe card on here. So I did that one and also these make a lot of noise. Also I did this one here and I like this one a lot too. And this is the top of it. Happiness is homegrown. And on the bottom I've got a, a cut from the um, from one of the Cricut cartridges and it's backed and I, I just put that on there. So again, another one for recipes. Now I've only got four of them. That's all I could get. It was the end sale and they were just about out of everything. One other thing is uh, one of my last videos, maybe the video before last, I told you that I had gotten this charger. I'll show you part of it. Okay. So this is the charger and I'm going to have a hard time centering this. Let me see what I can do. All right, that's not too bad. Um, and what I did was I found a ma men's magazine, an old magazine, and I cut the deer out and I backed him. And I found a saying and I printed that out and I cut it all apart, otherwise it wouldn't have fit on there very well. And this was very, very white. So I just took a black ink pad and just kind of smushed it around. That's a technical word, smushed it around. And uh, just took off some of the shine. And the, all of it after that has been Mod Podged. So I think it's kind of cute. And um, I thought this would be really a, a fun, easy project to do. It turned out that I somehow I wasn't getting very inspired. Um, but I did find the deer and that inspired me. So that's what I've done with my charger. Probably won't do another one, but you never know. Now, one of the things that people have been doing, and if you, you may have seen these, these are, um, let, me, let me break the seal on this one here. There we go. Um, these are shadow boxes and you can get them, well, maybe you can get them at Dollar Tree. The problem is, I only got like three, I think, and after I had worked with them, I thought, oh my goodness, these are just too gosh darn cute for anything, and I want to, to have more. Well, so I spent my day the other day going around to Dollar Trees. I went to five of them. I bought all that they had, and I will show you. Um, I ended up getting... I think 11, three of which are a little bit different design, which I was really um, surprised to see. So this would be, um, okay, here we go. All right, now again, a lot of this is Graphic 45. And if you're not familiar with it, it, it certainly is one of the most beautiful papers. Um, I think it does its best when you can do some fussy cutting, which I like to do. So this is fussy cut on the bottom and it's got a little bit of uh, backing on it too. So just a little bit of, of uh, probably mm, not cardboard, but maybe a little lighter than that. 
So, and then on the top, it says, I love my dog. Then the back paper, and see there's no glass in here. So, then what you do is, there we go. Um, you put your picture in here by putting it in into the little tiny clothespin. And I love this one. Let me show you a couple others I've made. Uh, this is one more of a sports one. They did have a couple brown ones, not too many, um, which is probably fine. I'm, I was happy to get this one. This is from uh, Graphic 45, good old sports. And it's great paper to get if you do um, any cards for men and things like that or pages. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff on it. So that's that one. And then I have it. I don't have them all done, of course. I only have like three or four done, but I have been working on them. Um, I love this one. This again, graphic 45. This is raining cats and dogs. And I don't know if you can see the layering on here. I've got it uh, backed, and then I've got it raised up a little bit. And then this is a this is a layer. This is a layer, and this is another layer here. That's what happens with graphic 45 when you. Um, work with it. If you can layer it, just cutting pieces out of the paper. It's just, it's just fun, fun, fun. So I thought this would be really cute. And then it just says C is for cat. When I couldn't find them, so before I took my trek <laughs> to all the Dollar Trees, I thought, I wonder if I could use a regular frame from the Dollar Tree. Well, let me tell you, it, it kind of worked. Um, it's not my favorite. But basically, it is a little tiny frame. I took the glass out, and I this to get something that's going to hold a clothespin is not easy. And I want to show you how it's reinforced on the back. This is washi tape, but you bend it over and you tape it on there. So if you want to make one yourself and can't get these others, this is very workable. Um, and then you can slide the, the close pin on just like the other ones are slid on. So it really works well. And it's got enough so that it's taut and it's not going to move all over the place. So you can put your picture in there. And, and I, it turned out cute. The, the frame was silver. And I just uh, washed, I just had some paint with a little bit of water on it, chalk paint. And this, I actually put it on with my finger. So that's what that one looks like. And it's cute. But I'm so happy that I was able to, to get the other ones. Now, I told you that I had seen, um, I had gotten the red, the blue, and the brown. But then when I went to one of the stores, I don't know if this is, this one is so much longer. Let me show you the comparison. Uh, let's see if you can see that. You see there's quite a bit of difference. And they're about the same width. This is not as deep, but it works. So the way they come is they've got a little, whoop, everything wants to stick to this today. You've got a little piece of ribbon here that you can hang it with. Um, and this is how they come with this little sign in it. And I thought, well, you know, they, they have, they had gold and silver. So I got one gold and I think I got two silvers. I thought I would bring them home, see if I can work with them, and now if, and if I can rem I like them, and if I can remember where I, uh, which Dollar Tree I got them from, I would get a couple more. So that this is not the finished product; that's just how it comes. Um, but this is, and what I've done is just backed it. Now remember, there's no glass in here. So I backed it with this embossed paper and I've actually, I just took an ink pad and did the edges, gave it a little more finished look. And I took a, a permanent marker and colored the clothespin because it was brown. And I just think it gave it a little bit more um, depth to it. So that's what this turned out to be and I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, I did one more. I really like this one here. This one is the same paper. Let me get it over here. Same paper. What I did was I cut all of this edging off. 
that's what you see here. Let me show you the paper underneath. Here's the paper from underneath. I love this paper. It's beautiful paper. And again, it's all embossed and it's got a little bit of glitter on it. And then cut that down, put the, the marker uh, on the clothespin, and then I just put a little butterfly on the top because there's butterflies on here. So um, that's what I've done with them, and I think I'm really pleased with them. I, I'm not sure um, what I'm going to sell them for, but uh, that will all come in, in the in the future uh, when I'm pricing everything and and um, I've got hmm, well like I said I've got 11 more of these so I'll be cutting out a lot of paper but I'm enjoying it so thanks for joining me I hope this gave you some ideas and if you like these I hope that you can find some at your Dollar Tree too so don't believe from forget to leave me a comment and hit that little like button and share it with your friends thanks so much bye bye